everyone, it's Kathy here from Del Bello's Designs and today we're going to be recreating a scene like this one. Uh, this scene was created using watercolour paints and salt to make a really lovely frosty background uh, and stamped with cardio stamps. So for this project you're going to need some uh, watercolour card. This is about £140 so it's quite heavy so it'll stop it curling got various brushes, got a couple of the Lavinia brushes and another wide brush for doing the backgrounds. I have two um, water jugs. One is to put my dirty brush in, then I dry it with a bit of kitchen paper and I use the clean one to use a different colour paint. It means I don't have to keep changing my water quite so frequently, so that's a real time saver. So for the background, I've got a set of Kurateki. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, the um, watercolour paints my husband bought me for Christmas. And I'm going to be using some blues, purples and red. But you can use any watercolour paints that you have. I've got a palette to mix up my paints in. For the stamping, I'm going to be using Versafine Clear, Twilight and Nocturne. I've also got some white embossing ink, pigment ink for embossing some of the branches. And I've got some holographic <coughs> um, embossing powder got some stickles in crystal and turquoise I'm also going to be using some uh, I have this bleed proof white paint that I'm going to be using but if you don't have that you can equally use Posca with splatters it's, it's mainly for the splatters in the, the snow so you could use Posca pen I've got a white gel pen too and for the stamps we have cardio Christmas companions and we're going to be using the little Deer from that one and also from that one I'm going to be using there's a couple of little rabbits in here too I'm also going to be using the two deers from Woodland Retreat some of the greenery from Christmas greenery I'm going to use the fence from the way the wind blows I'm going to be using all of those seasonal branches some of the um, textured flowers and Pine Panorama, I'm going to be using the little cottage in the, in the woods. So they're all the stamps. So I'm going to start with the, um, with the watercolour paper. One side is a bit rougher and one side is a bit smooth. One side slightly textured and one side smooth. So I'm going to be using the smooth side. But first of all, I'm going to spray the, the back side of it with some water. And I'm going to put that onto my mat so that it stays still. Okay, so the first part means we're going to have to um, sort of literally soak the, the card with water. So I'm going to soak it to about three quarters of the way down. And give it quite a good coating. So it's very wet. And then... I'm going to start mixing up some of the paints. So I'm going to start with quite a dark blue. This one, which is really quite dark. I'm just going to start at the top. I'm just doing sweeping strokes right to left or left to right. I'm just going down the page. And I'm going to do the next colour, which is a bit darker. Let's move that over. That's my dirty brush. As I'm still using blues, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to mix up some blues in my palette here, so I'm not... Right, so I've just mixed up a few of the blues together there. purple 
and then as it's mixing with the blue it's going a darker purple I'm going to try with a slightly smaller brush now and do some red a larger brush and then some more blue I just keep going over until I'm happy. Add a bit of purple at the top. quite happy with that. I'm not too bothered about the edges because I am going to be trimming it down. I'm just going to get one last bit of very dark at the top. I'm just sort of dipping it around so that you're getting little bits of purple, little bits of blue. red <laughs> I do tend to keep keep adding I should learn to stop when I'm happy with it but I don't I keep on right I'm going to stop there all right so now while it's wet I'm going to be adding the salt so like I say it's a mixture of sea salt and table salt I'm just going to sprinkle some over I use quite a lot for this one. And you can see straight away the salt's reacting with the watercolours. And it gives this effect. So then we have to leave it for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so just to dry. So I shall be back in a little while with a dry piece. Right, we've let that dry. Unfortunately, I just accidentally spilt some of my water on my desk, so that's a little bit wet in that corner. And as it's dry, I can just literally rub off the salt. Now, I'm going to have to take this off camera to do this because I don't want my desk to get really messy. But I'm literally just going to brush off the salt and put it in the bin. I'll be straight back. Right, and back, I also took that opportunity to trim my card to 8 by 10 now you can see the lovely background that adding the salts of watercolour did. Now I use quite a lot of salt on this particular one and I quite like the frosty look. But I've done a few others to show you that if you use a bit less salt or use it in a different way, you can get quite a different effect. It comes out different most times. So uh, this is what we're going to be working with today. So I'm going to start by blending some... Best Van Clair Nocturne and I'm just going to blend it into the corners here. But next I want to stamp my little cottage. Be, and 
out there. Yep. Right, this is again in Nocturne. And I'm going to add a few more trees to the side of the cottage. trees there and next I'm going to do the deer now remember what I was saying earlier about the um, watercolor paper having a textured side and a smooth side it's much easier to stamp on the smooth side than it is to do the textured side so I want to have this mum about here and hold it down for a moment just to make sure it takes there we go and next I'm going to have one of the smaller deers to her mum. Like so. And I'm going to use the third deer. If I can find it. <laughs> Hold on, there it is. She was hiding. On the back of a another stamp there and this one is just going to be about here so that's the three main characters right and the last two little things to be stamped are the bunnies I have these looking over from here on there All the main characters done now. Bottom of the page there. So now I'm going to start stamping some of the foliage. So <clears throat> put the black away. I'm going to get some more of the some more of this. Can make it come out a little bit further. Go for this bit. Turn the piece off. I'm going to use that as a as a guide for here. Okay, I'm saying this way. Now I'm going to start stamping. And I've got still a little bit of salt on there, so I'm going to try and brush off the last of this salt because you know what will happen when I emboss it, it'll be everywhere. Right. So I'm going to start stamping the 
foliage and I'm going to be doing it in black and nocturne and twilight and then lastly I'm going to do it in the pigment ink. So I'm going to start on the left hand side. emboss that now with a holographic powder and I don't mind if it stays on some of the blue and the black ones as well because it's, it's just a shimmer isn't it right if you have a little bit too much and you want to remove some just get a brush because I want to keep some of it dark. I want it to be all. See, obviously, with the salt background, you do get quite a lot of um, extra shimmer, shall we say? So I don't know if you can see very well there that I'm just literally making little bits, little gaps, so that some of the blue and the black can be seen as well as the white. Lovely shimmer. And I'm going to start on the other side. So I'm going to be using the uh, Christmassy foliage on this side. Again, I'm going to be doing it in black, blue, and then white. And do some in white. Let's give that a quick clean. Uh, 
that's enough for now. Give that a quick wipe. Here's some of this embossing powder here. Messy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna do the same here, but I'm gonna brush some of it off in between. Embossing parts done. I'm going to stamp over it again with some white. So I'm not going to emboss over this bit, this is just to have some white stand out white. Okay. So some of them look frosty, some of them look white. I'm going to do the same. Other foliage. Just have some plain white. So, right, so that's all the embossing. I'll wash those in the mesh in the sink in a moment. Right, so next, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but I'm actually going to use some pan pastels. Right, that's better. Sorry about that. I just had so much embossing powder on my desk. It was, it was a bit uncomfortable. So now I'm going to do some, uh, a little bit of growth coming out of the side of this bush here. So I'm just going to have a little, a little section here. And then I'm going to ground, I'm going to use the uh, torn paper to just ground the, the, the animals. Now, if you find that you've made something a bit too deep, like here, you can just use one of these sand erasers. 
we'll take some of it away. It's a little bit, a little bit straighter. Okay. So I'm going to now stamp with some of the um, textures just a few little bits and pieces here and there so this is like a little bit of blades of grass might be poking out from under the bushes next we're gonna have some little flowers I'm doing this all in Nocturne, by the way. Flowers going down that way. And the same this side. <clears throat> now I just need a tall, tall berry one. from here. There we go. Right, so the next thing will be some snow. Now, like I say, if you don't have the bleed proof white, you can easily use just a Posca pen. Give it a good shake. I'm just going to get a brush. And put some of my paint on the side, don't need a lot. It's plenty. Get a little squirt. That's watery, and then I'm gonna need a fan brush. And let me find my little one. I'm use my little one. I have a bigger one as well, but um sometimes use. Hang on a moment, it might be over here. Nope. It's going to have to be a little, a little fan brush, but that's fine. So I'm going to try and protect my cottage so that it doesn't get too much on it. I don't want to go on the roof, but I don't really want it to go all on the front. So I'm just going to Now I'm going to find my white pen. Pretty much done. Just got to wait for the paint splatters to dry before we can frame it. But there you go, a beautiful sky, winter sky with the salts and watercolours. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going just going to let this dry and frame it and show you it finished. Right, I'm back. I've let it dry. I've put it in a frame. It looks quite effective. I'm quite pleased with that. It's slightly different from the original because if you look at the sky, this has got a few more blue lines in. So it probably had a bit more blue. It looks a bit like lightning with those. But this one is more pastel. It looks more, more full of 
um, the, the sky is full of clouds and full of snow, heavy with snow. So there you go, a winter's day, a winter's tale. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already joined our Facebook groups, please consider joining our two Facebook groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge, and that's for all products that are Lavinia. And we also have Del Bello's A La Carte Lounge, which covers all the projects like cardio stamps that I use today. Um, so, you know, they're, they're both quite active groups with people sharing their work. It would be lovely to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.